hi guys <coughs> welcome back so today we will see our sixth question in the interview question series okay let's see the question sixth saying how do we get the count of drop down elements and check whether it's in ascending or descending order okay so for example we have one drop down available in web page so we have some elements inside the drop down so we need to get the count like how many items are there and we need to check whether it's in ascending order or descending order okay let's quickly jump to tosca okay so i have opened one website Okay, just a practice website okay as you can see in my screen there is one drop down for country selection if you click on that we have multiple items available so <coughs> we want to get like how many items are available in this drop down okay and then we have to check whether it's in ascending order or descending order or not okay First, uh, let me quickly scan this drop down. So, we'll go to the module section, scan application. So, we'll select this application. So, list of controls displaying in the web page, it will display here. So, there is one drop down. Okay, this is for simple drop down. There is one more. Okay, country drop down. So, this drop down we want. Okay, so I will select country drop down. And let me explain this filter. Okay, so we have list of items here. Okay. So list of items we have, we will select one of the item to get the count. Okay. Let this control be not unique because if it is unique means always count it will give as one. Okay. So for that list we have tag as option. Okay. Just let it be um, not unique. Okay. Just save it and close it so we have drop down here available okay country and afghanistan okay let me create one test case drop down Hello. drop down items count and order check Let me drag and drop this module inside my test case. Now, this is not unique, only tag is option. Okay, so to get the count of the item in drop down, we use a property called result count. Okay, result count will provide some buffer RC and then we'll give buffer okay let's see whether this will work or not this case swing is passed buffer with rc has been set to value 252 so it is saying inside this drop down we have 252 items okay this is very simple to get the count now the, our main task is this is very simple the next ask is to check whether it's in ascending or descending order okay for that what we have to do we have to iterate one by one to each item okay and we need to compare like if we 
if we capture afghanistan we have to compare with the next item okay next country like that one by one we have to iterate so we have to we will use here repetition concept okay so those who have not aware of repetition concept they can see my videos okay in my channel i have explained the repetition concept okay now let me <coughs> let me cre create one folder for iteration okay i will just give name repetition okay repetition and in repetition okay i want to iterate for each country okay here okay let's delete this delete this okay now i want to iterate over each country okay so if you see the logic of ascending or descending to compare what you need you need first and second country okay you need to buffer first country and second country then only you can compare right with this country to this country so we you need to capture both countries at once okay so for that what we will do first and foremost thing we have to define here one configuration parameter called explicit name again explicit name if you are not aware you can see a video in my channel okay so explicit name true i have defined so what it will do once we define explicit name we can use this control as a index okay now instead of afghanistan i will give for example i am giving if i give hash one what it will do hash one it will take the first country from here okay and if i give hash two it will take second country okay so i cannot hard code here because every time it will be one one only okay so instead of hard coding we have to use <coughs> a repetition here because repetition we are getting count here rc okay if you click on a repetition folder here repetition property is there in that you have to pass the buffer of rc that means we got rc as 252 so when you run the script in the repetition it will be 252 at runtime 252 okay so what tosca will do once it comes inside this repetition folder it in the item list what we will do we will just pass repetition this property this pro repetition property we are passing here so every time it will iterate like first iteration it will be hash one second iteration it will be hash two like that it will iterate till 252 times okay so as i told we need two countries at once to compare okay so here i am i will get only one country okay here i will get only one country just see <coughs> I will show you I will just run this okay so for this we want inner text okay item 1 and buffer okay so we are using inner text because whatever items we have the inner text property will show the country name okay so now what I have given country items we have passed hash of repetition and we are capturing inner text of that particular item okay storing in item 1 and we are buffering so let me just run it okay so run and show you how this repetition works
test case is passed since it is having 252 items so it took one minute of time to capture all if you see 250 times my repetition has run okay and each repetition it has captured the country name one by one see first repetition it is telling select country okay because here if you click on this drop down it is first country is first item okay that's why second one is afghanistan third one is third country albania like that it has captured all 252 countries okay so now we have got the list of countries but the problem here is we have got country only one country so we need one more country to compare okay so what we will do if we want to display this control twice so what we have to do if you go to this control you will see cardinality it is 0 to 1 if you change to 0 to n okay just see here you will see one more control here so what I will do I will remove this and I will use hash of repetition plus 1 okay so first uh, repetition is 1 and then repetition plus 1 1 and 2 so what it will capture it will capture the second country in item 2 okay but this syntax will not work now because we cannot do plus okay addition like this we have to use math operator which is available in Tosca okay math operator we have to use math operator so what what math operator will do it will do repetition plus one in first iteration repetition value will be one and second iteration repetition value be will be one plus one equals to two so has two okay we will just cross check whether this is working or not so what I will do instead of buffer 252 here I will just pass 10 okay hard code value because it is taking so much time okay for 252 iteration just to show you example I have just hard coded as 10 so it will run only 10 times okay let me run from here because already I have given hard coded value so now what this code code will do it will come here it will capture okay one more thing like first iteration first item is select country but we don't want select country we want to start from second iteration second item sorry okay so what we will do I will just copy this one and pass here and we will pass here we, because we want to start from second item because first item is select country we want to compare these countries not this select country okay so I have given math repetition plus one means it will start from two and it will capture two second item and third item okay and it will run only for 10 iteration for 10 countries because I have hard code just see we will check since it was 10 uh, repetition it took less time okay now you just notice here in first iteration it has captured item 1 as Afghanistan and second item is Island Iceland you can check in the drop down first item is Afghanistan second item is Island Iceland so what we can do now we have two countries with us so we can compare whether this is this Afghanistan is less than to island Iceland whether it's in descending order or ascending order okay so same second repetition you can see it will capture the second country and the third country like that third country fourth country fifth fourth country fifth country like that it will store in one buffer item one and out item two okay so now we have first uh, first country second country so we want to compare it so to compare two buffers we will make use of one standard module called 
tbox evaluation rule okay this this module and we will compare okay we will compare buffer buffer okay one buffer is less than of second so we will pass here our first country then we will pass our second country close the comma okay so we are comparing whether first country is in less than equals to second second country okay item 1 and item 2 only same buffer i have given here okay and the xn mode is verify okay so now repetition count still it's 10 let me just increase to 20 okay i will not use sorry buffer of rc because it take it will take so much time just to explain you people i am just hard coding the uh, repetition count okay you can pass buffer also only problem is it will it, it will take time that's why i have hard coded now i will run this just see it will compare the each country like first two countries then second third country then third fourth then four, fourth fifth like that it will compare only 20 countries because repetition count is 20 and if it's in order it will pass or if if it's not in order it will get fail so test case is showing as passed okay let's check see in first step it has buffered second step it is checking whether afghanistan is less than hell and iceland evaluated to true you can manually also check whether this <coughs> is correct or not in second iteration see it again took second country and the third country and it has compared like that so it keeps on comparing till 20th iteration see 20th iteration because we gave repetition as 20 so <clears throat> same way you can compare all the items just what you have to do you have you have to remove the hard code value and you have to pass buffer of rc because we are buffering here with rc so what it will run for 252 times because we have 252 items in that drop down okay okay this is how we capture the drop down elements and then we compare the order whether it's in descending or ascending order okay this is this was only our ask okay okay that's all guys thank you bye bye